Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Inscription with another self inflicted challenge here today. Last time we've been doing the big boys. Can we beat the game with only juice jacked muscle? And we found out that not only can we do that, but we can even do it while under pressure. Today, I'm proposing a new challenge. Can we do it? With the creepy crawly boys, the insect, the stinky buggy boos. And I know we can do this because in my challenge run videos, I have, I have videos that are older of me going through the challenges for the first time. And I was basically doing insect decks pretty often. Um, this is going to be a little bit stricter. We're not allowed to... Um, deviate from that ruling at all. I don't care what the circumstance is. We are only allowed to use insects. Now, I know what you're thinking, and this is what I've been struggling with. What deck do we pick? You probably think we're going to pick the insect deck, right? Which I have on screen here. We got the, we got the, uh, got the, the ant queen that makes an insect and the ant. So three bugs, essentially, and stinky butt over here. But I've been thinking hard about this, and, and I want to go in with this deck because I haven't actually featured this on the channel. I took this deck into Challenge Run 3, which was not recorded, and I did fine. But I think if I actually want to beat the run with Insects, then we gotta go Mantis God. And I hate to do that. Because I don't want this deck to turn into just the one-shot Mantis Voltron strategy here. I actually want it to be insect synergies. But they're all insects. This guy has a stinky butt in the deck. That's not an insect. This is all insects. Allows us to kill the hunters off right away. And it gives us a pretty decent card to work with that we can maybe buff once or twice. So we're going to go in with, with the Mantis God deck, and we're going to go in with no challenges. Except for maybe boss rares off. Because not a lot of them... Hmm. A lot of these aren't insects other than the Mantis God. I actually think we're going to do that. We're going to leave boss rares off. And we're going in. We're going in. Here we go. Sorry for the long spiel there at the beginning, but we have our ringworms, we have our insect boys, and we're going to try to get some more. What is this music? Oh, that's what I wanted playing. I don't know if I've ever shown the cabin on, on these videos before. I've mostly just focused on the map. Okay. Let's see what we can do with insects. Now, totems is going to be the name of the game. We are going to want to set up some broken stuff with our totems because we're going to have one tribe and one tribe only. So already right here, we're grabbing boom, boom. Actually, hang on. <laughs> hang on a second. Now just wait a minute. Since the next space is a sacrifice space, maybe we can be a little bit more lenient with our grabs, okay? Putting... Let's think about sigils here. Like, what do we want to put on something? I love this sigil. And I love this sigil. Although I don't see this one being as important for insect boys. So, we're going to grab... Hmm. We're going to grab this guy and Cuckoo. Yeah. And then, I know I said totems are the name of the game. But we're going to jump over here, slap this... On... The Mantis God. And we already got ourselves... Not totally busted, but strong card uh we also have to use an item in this next battle because we can't get a pack rat in our deck although actually putting the item sigil on 
you know, just because we have non-insects in our deck doesn't mean we... It just means we just you don't use them. Okay, so we want to play this Ant Queen. We can't really do that yet, and we don't really have anything worth doing. I don't like just throwing the ring, Ringworm at out there. They're just... They're just bad cards, man. They're just, they're just bad. So we're gonna grab this boom. We're gonna grab the Ant Queen. Uh, he moves around, so it doesn't really matter where we put this guy. And then we can play that Ant next turn. The Ant Queen will become a lot stronger. Take out that, that Bullfrog and we'll do two damage in the process. And this should ride us to victory this early on, but we can draw the Mantis God. Get ourselves some extra teeth. And we will just put him right here so he does max damage. There we go. Okay. This, act this path actually would have been pretty good. We could have got a cool insect underneath the rock. We would have got a totem start at least. Uh, this is a pretty bad space because we could get a non-insect here. Ah, we got an insect. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, this is going to be our first non-insect, but that's okay. We can actually utilize this symbol to our advantage pretty heavily. All right. Not the most broken start. All right, let's see what we get here. And this is just a continual three damage every turn. I mean, that's that's just really good. And I mean, that's game. That's a strong card, even at, as just a one power. Like, we don't have to have him be broken. Uh, we're going to pick up a pelt. Not a huge fan of that. Not a huge fan of that. I don't think I want any more. Then we're just gonna keep the one. We really don't want to fuel up our deck with a bunch of with a bunch of crap. Now we're gonna be looking for the insect head here. If we get a broken bottom half, then we're gonna grab the bottom half. But all right, we did not get the insect head, so flying is decent enough. It's not really what I want. Uh. This is fine. We can just drop him right here. Do the same strategy again. We're going to get a little bit more resistance this time, but really not that bad. I think that still wins. Yep. They have to do two damage to equalize that out. Now, we have the sacrifice symbol on the right side, which is obviously going to put the pack rat onto one of the things. And then we're, this is actually going to work out pretty good. It means we would miss the totem space though. And I don't like that. Um, hmm. Our first match is the angler too. We don't really have a lot of damaging things right now. This space is bad for us, because it's kind of hard to get an insect. I got lucky last time. Let's see what it has. So, th I don't think there's any insects at three. There's ones at bones, and I don't know if there's any at two. No. Sorry, but no. No. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're gonna go this way, actually. So we have we have not set up our totem yet. Um, we're going to put this on something. Hmm. This is tricky. I think we're gonna put it on the ant. 
Alright, and we got an insect boy. Ah. Uh, okay. Alright, well, I mean, this is really the only thing that makes sense. Okay. Alright, well, we have a flying totem, which is pretty poop. Not really a lot going on for us in terms of... We have some- we just have some pretty good utility insects right now. These ain't chains. <sighs> I mean, I can just- I can already play the Ant Queen. Um, but what we can really do is do something cool. We can go boom, boom. Ant Queen. Flying Ant. We got the rotating space. We're gonna deal four damage. It's not bad. Oh, but never mind. We, we do lethal. It's pretty good, actually. And then the flying ant flies over the bucket, and she will kill the bucket and the... She'll kill the bucket and the great white. Go, fans. Yeah. Okay, that was lethal. <laughs> All right. Insects. <laughs> Creepy crawlies. All right, no boss cards, and we didn't get an insect, so that's kind of annoying. Um, this sigil's the best, so we'll try to utilize that in the future, but we do need to get some more cards to do that. We also need to get our totems online here. Here's a totem, and here's a space to get some more cards. This map does seem kind of poo-poo. We could also get a really strong card from over here. Grab another pack rat. That seems too much. That's too much. Let's go over here. Alright, what do we got? Uh, this is the only insect. I don't hate it. This is also really strong. To put on something. I don't know what would we could put it on. We can't put anything else on the Mantis God. I mean, just putting it on the Flying Ant's actually pretty good. Uh, but I think I'm getting too sigil heavy. We need to just go... Dude, putting this on the Ant Queen would be really cool, because then it would make... Also, the insect this thing makes should have this symbol, but I don't know if it did. Um, we're just going to grab the beehive. And then we're going to hope for the insect head. Not that we have a strong bottom or anything. But we do need to grab that head. Okay, we don't have... This is a great... That's a great bottom. Alright, on to the next fight. We should win. Our deck's pretty consistent, and we got the Mantis God start, and we're gonna cuck that, that raven, hopefully. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, the adder we are not gonna use. We're just gonna pass. I don't know why I drew a squirrel, but, ah, eh, we didn't really need to do anything else, so. Smooth, baby, smooth. All right, let's think about this. I think we're gonna go this way and then into the totem space. That's what we're doing. Magpies. Okay. Hmm. The cat is not a tribe. I feel like that's the least worrisome of the bunch. Now I don't mind going here. Let's let's check out the totems. If they don't have anything good, we're gonna pop over to the Dam Builder. Huh. All of our insects make dams? 
that'd be stupid. Oh my god, if this came down, then that means the dams would all make an egg. They'd also all have triple strike and stuff. That's hilarious. But, uh, like, that's actually freaking hilarious. But, I think it's stronger to put, um, the sig a, a sigil on something else. Since that didn't have the insect head, I mean, what's the point? Um, let's try putting this on something. Putting them on- this actually makes the ringworms do something. That's pretty good. Otherwise, we can just put the adder on something and that- that literally does nothing. So, instead of having a cat in our deck that's not an insect, let's just make an insect do what the cat does. It doesn't transform into a 3-6 or anything, but it's fine, who cares. Okay. This should be good. Alright, perfect. Got the Mantis God start. We do not have the... Uh, I wish the Raven was here. It's gonna be harder to break parity. Uh, let's draw a card. Flying Ant is pretty good. Um... Let's just attack again. Okay, now it's getting crazy. But that's okay, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this. We're gonna drop an ant. Get a black goat. Not a fan of the black goat item. This should win the game for us. There we go. Uh, that that felt a little bit more narrow. I could just barely escape that. I don't see any value in going over to the sacrifice space, so we're just gonna go over here and try to get insect. Come on, insect! Shoot. Um, that's pretty crap. Let's try to get something better than that. But these are the last three. Wait, do I need to shuffle them? Oof. Okay. Well, we're just gonna grab that one. We'll have to figure out how to get rid of it. I have two cards I have to get rid of. We're just gonna copy the Mantis God. He seems definitely the best. Maybe we it'll raise its power. I doubt it, though. Uh, why do you have to move? That to totally defeats the purpose. And it's on the ground now. Maybe copying the Mantis God was not the smartest idea. That's gonna mess up my whole egg system. Yeah, this one sucks. Just kills the egg. What's the point of that? Oh, now we just lose them. Oh no. Oh, we just lost him too. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, that didn't do us any good. That was- I put that in the wrong spot. That was supposed to go in the corner. Alrighty. We're having a good time. Squirrel. Yeah, let's use it. Block this damage. Oh my goodness. Well... We have no way to clear... Huh. Sure. Just attack. Okay.
There's three damage, so we're only losing one a turn. Problem is the wolf moving around, though. Shoot. We're not dead yet. Problem is that damn wolf, though. Okay, if I attack again, I can play him down and kill the wolf. The wolf's gonna kill the mantis god. I can also just use our items here, I mean... Okay, it's getting a little sketchy. Oh no, I'm out of insects. Oh hey, that's the infinite sacrifice worm. Ah, oh, he's dead. Yeah, I'm all out of insects. Uh, this is super awkward. I can play something else. Or we can win like this. How many more squirrels we got? Not that many. Not enough. Yeah, not enough. Yeah, oh, that's it. Yeah, we just gonna we're just gonna start that over. That it went in the worst spot it could have. Okay. So let's try to be smarter about where we're putting the mantis guy. I really wish you didn't have that stupid move symbol, man. This is the worst. And direwolf pup moves, and this is actually gonna kill Mantis God. So no matter where I put him, he's just always dying. That sucks. I could rotate the spaces, but then we lose the direwolf pup. But we won't lose Mantis God. Oh Jesus. Starting to feel like we just couldn't put something together. I don't want to use the hook this early. Let's just pass. I lose him. He transforms. We get smacked for a lot of damage. Ugh. And I'm in the exact same spot. We're gonna lose by one. Yeah, we lost here. I think we just accept the loss. I mean, we got nothing. Just accept the loss, I think. We gotta get rid of these cards out of our deck that we're not using. Well, this is what we have to grab. Um, I don't think sacrificing much is gonna do us any good. We can see. What can we put this on? 
can't put this on anything that attacks. So I don't think this space is doing us much good. Might as well just go over here. Oh, you know what? This guy is so bad that it might be best just to combine them. I hate to do that, but he's so bad on his own. Having one that flies and moves around doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of matters. Oh, the symbol really screwed us. It screwed us. Oh, we need him though. We need him to be separated. God, that symbol really screwed us. I also could have done the ringworm there. That would have been pretty smart. If this is power, we might need this. Yeah. Um, we definitely want to do this on... Hmm, we could balance this out. By making him a little bit more destructive. I don't think killing off the hunters now is gonna be a good thing. I mean, we could we could just buff him twice and see what happens. <laughs> He's better off not in the deck, but we don't have a lot of things that deal damage. I mean, Mantis God should carry us through this fight. Should. But he would be the only thing. Ugh, this is getting hard. Alright, let's just go with this one. Uh let's just take him. <laughs> I don't wanna lose him. Oh, this is the prospector. I thought it was the trapper. Oh, well, I, uh, I don't know. We keep getting this card. All right, this is the good one. He should be all we need. We can lose him. We have one turn to do it. We need to draw something good here. That's a ringworm. Losing the Mantis God. Nah, I don't. I think this is too fast. We don't have our. We don't have a very good hand. And this wolf's gonna just come in and smack us. Um. Oh, it went away. Oh well. We'll just put him right here. He's safe. Gives us pretty good sacrifices. Um, this gives us two bees. That's fine. Allows us to play pretty much anything. And then we can just put him here. Oh, shit! God, that symbol sucks. <laughs> Let's keep drawing a card. We're looking for... Just block him. We're looking for the Ant Queen. There it is. Um, just drop him here. Drop the worker ant. Okay. Okay, what's this one? The flying ant. That's fine. Can't play it, but wish we could. We're gonna lose the worker ant coming up. Oh no, we don't. Um, can't play anything. I wish we could. This.
Hmm. Okay, so now we win. What a woman thinking so hard for. It's over. Okay, got through the prospector. A little, a little, a little hairy. A little hairy. Okay, let's try to grab another insect here if we can. Worker ant is fine. All right, we, this is the third map. We really gotta get that insect head on that totem. Here's a totem. I think the totem is too important to not figure out. All right, this is terrible. Worker ant. All right, insect head, come on. Okay, there. Oh! That's so good. We don't really have anything busted yet. Ah, oh, that's such a good symbol. That would have been awesome. Okay. What? Three? Right from the gate? seem very fair. Oh, and a raven? What is this? What is happening right now? This is dumb. That's what we're gonna do. See ya. And then we're going to immediately He moves A Boulder, okay Alright, Raven Egg He's going to block that Alpha from coming in, that's fine Perfect now we're doing insect things. We're gonna lose the flying ant. is happening ringworm these ringworms are actually quite useful now oh man they got a lot of stuff coming in and I can only do one damage basically all right check this out use this oh shoot they have my they have my thingy um We need to do four damage. I can only do three this turn. Okay. We're gonna do five. All right. Bringing in another elk. Hmm. Yeah, I place him here. He wipes the floor with them. Oh, we're gonna lose them immediately. Ugh, come on. Okay. We still won. I had to use an item, but that's okay. Um, we get it back anyway here. We really want to see more totem spaces. I want to try to find something a little bit more fun. The it's useful, but it's it's not fun. Uh, I don't think we I don't think we win any of these. 
I don't, th I don't think I have anything. <laughs> Wait. This, they st I did not know that. I always thought it would read this as zero. Oh my god, we won. We get a beehive that is can be repeatedly sacked. It makes dams that can be repeatedly sacked, except they can't be sacked. How does that work? Interesting. It's not as broken as I would like it to be, but we're still gonna grab it. All right, let's restock our items. Uh, I think we want the squirrel card. Okay, uh, I don't see any of the totem heads, which is super disappointing. The mushroom card could help us. It, we could combine our beehive. We could... I don't think the sacrifice does us much good. Yeah, I think we just want to go to the way of the mushroom. That's a pretty bad symbol right there. Alright, so we get an interesting start. What the hell is this? Alright, let's try this out. Alright, so these also have the... Uh, so... You can't sacrifice a dam, so you're short. That's interesting dialogue. And then I can just drop the Mantis God. Oh God, that's okay, we kill it. All right, he kills that, he takes a, we get a B that can be infinitely sacrificed and it deals damage. This is interesting. Although having this many infinitely sacrificing things is scary. That does us nothing. If we put that on the board, we'll just lock ourselves. Um, and I'm afraid to put the B on the board for the same reason. Now he's gonna put himself right in the way of the moose buck, so this is really not ideal. That means we're fine to put the B down, I think. Oh, well, actually, it worked out. And our dams are doing work. Alright, let's grab this. Mantis God, huh? We'll just sack him and drop him right here. We're doing things. We're doing things. We're doing insect things. It takes a while, but we're doing it. No, we want insect. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Okay, I think what we want to do... <laughs> so we wanna... This is- this just reduces our deck size, which is not bad, but I think what we want to do is this. Because the bigger the butt this has, the more bees it will make that do all of this stuff. And also reduces our deck size. So unfortunately, we got kind of screwed on the totem thing. It's not giving us any more totems. Should have hit them a little bit harder in the beginning. Too bad that's not our infinite sacrifice one. Um, this is gonna be a hard fight. Could play a squirrel and try to win right away. I could actually utilize this ringworm. Kill one of these things off. Oh my god, look at this. I don't think we're gonna win this. Uh, not without using an item. Take him out. Can't play him yet. We're gonna get a lot stronger once we can. Alright, we'll just take three. He'll hopefully block him from coming in. Okay, good. 
Um, if we just do this and we win, and we don't win. Uh, now we're blocked completely. Ah, perfect. Okay, so next turn. So if we're going to lose this worker ant, though, so we're not going to become super strong. Hmm. We're going to kill off this elk, though, which is good. Sand Queen's doing work right now. Alright, so again, he's going to kill off... That elk. I cannot believe we're surviving that elk thing. Oh, the moose buck just coming in. It's okay. I feel like we have to use the boulder. Like, we're not gonna do... We're only gonna do four. And then freaking moose buck. Daddy moose buck's coming in. can't get enough of them down on the field. Oh, well, he's dead. Uh, I don't know what to do. I can at least get him somewhere where he I could have killed the elk off, but whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to try that again, but I suppose I will. Maybe we can do something different in the start. We were doing surprisingly well. I think if we're gonna use items, since we know it's gonna be so hard, we might as well just start with the Ant Queen. I mean, he's he's gonna have the same effect. He's gonna kill off one of these things and we can do damage faster. We got pretty close one time. Right, so that kills off one of the Elk Fawn. Grab a squirrel. That's six damage. Okay, that does it. And all it took was a squirrel token item. All right, this is the sketchiest space. Probably not gonna get an insect. Yep, didn't think so. That's a pretty bad card though. That's a little bit better. Okay. So, what we can do is kill off one of those annoying cards we don't want to see. Like the stupid pronghorn that it keeps giving me all the freaking time. That does nothing for our deck, but... Okay, this is important. This is an important decision. Unfortunately, raising the power of this doesn't affect the bees that it makes. Man, our deck's actually not that big. Wait, where's all the worker ants? Why are they not here? You can't oh, you can't raise anything with the pa with an ant symbol. Well, I guess that means we're going to do this guy. Alright, grab another squirrel. Now we're going to get cool. Drop the ant queen. Drop the worker ant. Doing a lot of damage here. My little tiny crawlers. They're going to crawl up in your clothes and get ya. Let's trade. Man, I don't need no trades, man. I don't need trade for nothing, man. Honestly, this is a pretty easy grab. I mean, we're just gonna grab this one. That's the only one that's gonna mess stuff up. Uh, and then we'll just grab this, put this down, and put this down. Boom. Just like that. 
Easy peasy. That egg ability, man, is... Is, is good. You will not perish quite yet. There's more to do. There's more for you to witness. Ah, oh, these aren't insects. Uh, let's kill the elk, I guess. So, I think restocking items is important, but... We have to check out the totem. So let's check out the totem. Hopefully there's something really cool in here. Double strike again. Hey, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. I like that. We're gonna go in with really crap items, but I like that symbol. Everything's dealing twice as much damage now. I can't believe I said double strike and I got it. Attacking the same space like we saw earlier is better, but we had to grab the insect head, like... Alright, here we go, baby. Can little buggy booze beat the big bad boy? I don't know with his stupid prospector phase if we're gonna be able to do this. Okay, so check. Check this out, dude! It's so good! So good! Beehive! Double! Alright. I don't care about you. Okay. So, this kills Mole Man. And does four damage additional. And Amalgam's following him. So, if we put him here, it should be fine. And then we can just- we could have just made a butt ton of walls too. But here's what we can do. Just make a thing. Oh, I could have kept my squirrel I could, if I was gonna do that. Whatever. I played that wrong, but it's fine. Oh my god. This man. Oh, I forgot about that stupid prospector hammer. Okay. Alright, let's draw this. Because we can literally do anything we want. Alright, let's play that. Uh, let's block this damage, sure. Oh, that's lethal. That is so lethal, oh my god. That's 10 damage. He hits for 10. I don't think he's gonna- <laughs> Oh, baby. Oh, we can't play him, actually. Because all of our stuff has the infinite sack symbol. Yeah, that's a shame. Stuff just has to die in combat, but they're never going to because we hit for 12 damage right there. Now, um, how are we going to get through the moon? I don't know. He's going to wipe our whole board. This is our best card. I'm holding the other one in my hand. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I wish I could play these things. Well, it's a good start. Yeah, but he's gonna kill our whole board. That's a shame. That's a damn shame right there. Ringworm again, are you joking? Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna drop a B down. Fuck! It made a damn. That's not what I wanted that to do. I just screwed myself. Completely just screwed myself. It's fine. It's fine. But that's not what I wanted. Okay. Let's grab another card. Alright, that gives us an item. Um... And that makes our ant stronger. This item's trash.
Okay, okay. Now we're clearing up space. Worker ant. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Check this out. Play the ant. Play the ant. Now we're getting strong. Nice. Nice. Double strike coming in clutch at the end. Grab another card. And just for the just for the teeth, we will play the Mantis God. He's got a little eggy. <laughs> okay, so uh it was a little sketchy throughout the journey, but yes, you can beat uh Casey's mod with just buggy booze. And they got, they get pretty powerful. The insects are always like that. They get, they're pretty good by the end. And it's, and it's all totems. Like all you got to do when you're building those tribe synergies like that, totems, it's just the way to go. And you get, you get a good totem and you're going to be crazy. And insects are cooler than the other tribes in the sense that like they have a lot of synergies already built in that create more insects. Like you saw with the beehives and the ants not none of the other tribes really do that and they can't do that so it just makes them really powerful and fun to play with um they're definitely my favorite tribe in casey's mod or, or in, in in inscription i think they have the most fun synergies and next time we will try to we will do insects again but harder oh yeah because i hate Self. <laughs> uh thanks for watching if you if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing to the channel and uh i will see you next time for more inscription thanks for watching